up guys it's a sunday setup and today i'm actually showing you how i set up my week um and so yes i typically do it on sunday that's usually our chillest day and um, i always start with just writing stuff out um, how i build my menu is really just focused on my dinners and I build from there. So my dinners are always my lunch for the next day in some variation. Um, for today, I'm actually turning some leftover turkey into like a lightened up buffalo chicken dip type thing. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but our dinners this week are gonna be salmon and veggies, um, zucchini enchiladas-ish, some leftover soup, salads, and sheet pan fajitas. And so I write those dinners down and I think about my week. Like I think about what is gonna be my most busy day. On a busy day, I'm likely just gonna have a salad. What's gonna be a day I might have some extra time to build something. And that is when I'll do something that has a little bit more um, steps to it. So beside that, I just write what I'm gonna need from the grocery store to have that meal. I take into consideration what I already have in the fridge and pantry and then write what I don't have. And then obviously there's like my extras at the bottom for Thomas and Owen or whatever my husband says he wants. And for breakfast, I'm having um, protein pancakes and I'll show you in a second. I'm doing a neat spin on that. So once I have this, I make it look a little bit more pretty. That way I like, I'm a visual person and I like it to flow. I like to be able to glance at it and just look and see what I'm gonna have. And so then I can just go from that. So um, for today, I've got that dip in the oven cooking. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to put some leftovers onto this sweet potato. So I've already baked my sweet potato, just wrapped it in tin foil and baked it. Um, tomorrow night, we are having vegetables with our salmon. So I've already cut those vegetables up. So tomorrow, I've just got to put some seasoning on it and bake it. When I bake these vegetables for tomorrow's dinner, I'm also going to add in the oven some sweet potato slices for lunch on Tuesday. All right, you following? Move that out of the way. Tuesday night, our zucchini enchiladas. And the recipe is like you are supposed to roll it up in these zucchinis, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to kind of build it like a lasagna. So I guess it's like a zucchini enchilada lasagna and um, to my chicken mixture I'm going to grate some extra zucchini that way there are some more vegetables in it and I've already diced my onions and peppers so Tuesday's meal is done and I even um to save me an extra step let me show you what I got at the at Aldi today saw this green chili pulled chicken and so I'm just gonna use that um, it was four dollars and it'll save me time and it will be easy so I will just mix all of that together all right that's Tuesday Wednesday is done because that's soup it's already I made the Brunswick stew that I made a few weeks ago I froze it um breakfast I have posted about my protein pancakes before. I will post the recipe for that in the comments. And I'm actually doing a chocolate spin on that because I had some chocolate protein powder that I mixed instead of vanilla. And then lastly is this buffalo chicken dip. As you know, um, don't look at all that mess, sorry. <laughs> buffalo chicken dip is usually really um, like creamy and has ranch. And let me see if I can turn this around has like ranch and cream cheese. And so I did a lightened up version of that and I substituted the cream cheese for just some plain Greek yogurt and substituted the full fat ranch for a yogurt based ranch also. So we will have that tonight with some carrots or on a salad, probably some chips also, if I'm being transparent. And then tomorrow I'll put some leftovers on that sweet potato for lunch. So that is our Sunday setup. I hope you are set up for a great week. Bye y'all.